Hey guys, great, great day, great, great day. Happy Wednesday, happy Wednesday. I just tried to go live and run a little bit late. Y'all know I'm a mom. I got a two-year-old in some more. And the two-year-old decided to, I'm proud of him though, right? He decided to, to use the bathroom, but he took his pants off and used the bathroom. So I had to go clean him up, clean it up, and so forth. So, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back if you tried to tune in. And so, um, I know I get a lot of inboxes, I get a lot of people that comment, and I suffer with it sometimes too, we, we, um, knee pain is what I'm talking about. And knee pain is no fun at all, right? No fun at all. And a lot of times I find that when individuals have knee pain, hey Miss Darlene, that we do the opposite of what we need to do. And I understand why. We kind of, um, like we try not to use our legs much, we try not to use our knees much because it become painful. And then we're stiff and because we're not moving it, we become more stiff. We even sometimes lose the range of motion from not properly using our joints and so forth. And so I, um, have a few things that I've been researching and I've been looking at that I want to come share with you and hopefully it can help you as I'm trying to get it to help myself too. Um, thank you, my love. And so I, I, I just want to say um, staying still is the opposite to what we want to do with our knees. We want to make sure that we're moving and and keeping in shape i want to say too i know we was doing yoga once a week and when i was doing that yoga once a week that stretching really was helping my joints out and so i think i'm gonna go back to doing that i'll go to the gym and do it with an instructor but go back to doing it and so you guys may want to look into that too because it really really helps um with it now it's just me and abram here so Bear with me. Um, and so, there you go, Boo. Thank you. You're welcome. And so, you, you want to make sure that you keep moving. Now, let me tell y'all, too. Like, anatomy was my favorite class in school. But I was trying to learn the, um, hello. I was trying to learn, like, the scientific terms of the legs and so forth. So, while I'm doing the stretches with y'all, I can tell y'all. And... It was taking more time than what I had. So, I'm going to point and tell you what I think it's called. If I don't know what it's called, I know what I feel, okay? And so, I have three quick extra, three, three quick stretches for y'all. And so, as you see, I'm sitting in the chair because most of them it deals with the chair. I know I find a lot of times. Now, best, it's easiest sometimes, guys, to stretch on the floor. But I know a lot of times that when we have joint discomfort, like the floor is the last thing we want to get on, right? Because it's harder to get up. So I totally understand. So these three quick ones that I have here for you um, does not require you getting on the floor, okay? And so one of the ones that I want to do, and I'm going to kind of have to move the chair back and forth trying to figure out which one to do first. One of the ones that I wanted to do, let me slide the chair over. So you can see what I'm doing. Ideally, if you have a chair, a chair that has this right here, a ledge, it'll be great. But if you don't, it's okay. And so one of the first exercises that you're going to do is you're going to step back about arm width from the chair. You're going to take one of your legs, put it front. That front leg, you're going to bend it. That back leg, you're going to take it down. And I wish you could see me a little bit better on what I'm doing. Let me see if I scoop my chair. Front leg is bent. The back leg is down. You want to feel the stretch in the back of that calf. That's what I was going to say. Though it's your knee that you're having stiffness and joyness with, a lot of times the muscles that's around the knee, if they're weak, it'll make the knee hurt even more. And so you wanna make sure that you're stretching and strengthening those muscles. And so what we have here today is some things to stretch it. And so I know y'all probably like, she said this is gonna help my knees. Promise you, I find that on days when I really work out and I do not stretch well, that my knees act up more because my calf is stiff. 
because my calf is stiff. Like I said, I don't know the whole anatomy, right? But something about the way I walk puts extra strain on it from the calf being stiff, okay? And so this is a stretch. Take that front knee and push it up that back leg and stretch it down, right? And you're going to feel a stretch. You feel a stretch here, okay? I want to say this was the hip. I tried to do some research and make sure, right? I, I don't know. The way I'm shaped, I thought this was my hip, but they're like, your hip ain't way up there. Whatever. So <laughs> you feel a stretch right here. You feel the stretch in the back of your calf. That's the main place I want you to feel it. To take that foot and push it down to the floor for about 30 seconds. Hold it, okay? Then bring it back. Shake it out, right? Do the opposite leg. Same thing. Press it down. Stretch it out. 30 seconds, okay? Bring it back. Hold it. Do that about five times, all right? That's one of the stretches. The other stretch is to the back of the chair. You want to spread your legs a little further than shoulder width apart, right? A little further than shoulder width apart. If you find that you're really stiff, then you don't have to push them out so far, okay? You're going to grab the back of the chair. You're going to go arm width distance apart. You're going to bend over. All the way over as far as you can. Tailbone push it up toward the ceiling and you should feel the stretch in the back of the leg there. The whole back of the leg is where I feel the stretch. And you stretch it down and you hold it there. Stretch it out, stretch it out, hold it there. Come up. If you want, you can even stretch forward. Reverse the back some. Come back down, straight back. And do it again. Again, you want to do that one five times. The last one, well, one of the other ones that I have for you is actually sit it in the chair. I'm going to go back and read the comments as soon as I get done, y'all, and talk back with y'all. Sit it in the chair. This is really, really good, again, if you have the chair that have the raised thing, okay? Don't fall out the chair now. Make sure it's a good sturdy chair. You're going to turn in a direction to where the opposite leg is hanging off. You're going to take that leg behind you. Put, the, put your foot on the floor. Can y'all see me? Let me pull it back so you can see me. One day, y'all, I'm going to have some good editorial skills. And y'all don't have to see me moving the chair and all that. But this is nice because it's live, so you can talk with me. So you're going to pull the foot flat on the floor, and you're going to let that leg hang over the chair some, right? And you should feel the stretch in the top part of this thigh. If you cannot feel it, lean back a little bit, okay? Make sure the leg is hanging off the chair. Use the arm to kind of hold you up there. And lean back and you'll feel the stretch there and so you hold it for 30 seconds and then again you turn it turn back to neutral stretch swing it out flap it out and then do the other side again the foot down bring it over to where the weight is hanging over listen to your body make sure you're doing it to where you know you're, you're stretching it the right way if you find it you should feel a stretch, not an ache. Feel the stretch in the thigh. Hold it for 30 seconds. This isn't 30 seconds, but hold it for 30 seconds. Shake it off. Repeat that five times. Now, I want to say I have one more thing for you. I want to say I learned somewhere, like, sometimes, you know, sometimes when we stretch, we do the, the, the bouncy thing. Like, I, I can't explain it, but... We bounce on it to put the pressure. Somewhere I read to not, well, I, I, I listened or saw to not do it. I have to do more research on it, but it's saying like to just do one constant, like if you're stretching your arm, right? You do one constant stretch versus pulling, 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 if that makes sense to you guys. And so do your research on it and find out um, what's your standpoint. And if you pay attention, most of the time if you go to classes, they do one consistent stretch. They don't tell you to pull back, pull back the bounce motion. 
And so do your research. The last thing I want to share with you guys, um, and this is kind of, this is more so of an exercise versus a stretch. This was taught to me. I, I've had issues with my knees, guys, with my legs, ever since I was like, <laughs> 13 is like my magical age, right? But ever since I was young, like I can even remember being a little girl complaining to my mom about my legs, but I've been overweight all my life. And so the only thing the doctors would ever say is you need to lose weight, you need to lose weight. So nobody really, never really looked into it for me. But, and even if you watch me in my videos, you'll find that I walk with a limp and that my right leg is bowed. Some people think the left leg is bold too, but it's more so the right leg is bold. And guys, it did not, like, I wasn't born that way. I wasn't born that way. Um, I think the weight is what caused it to bow. Um, But, anywho, my first year of college, someone saw me walking and they saw the limp. And he, he was a physical therapist and he told me to try these exercises. And so what he told me to do was to sit in the chair in the bed, right? and lift your leg. It does not have to be real high or anything like that. Just lift it enough to where it dangles off the floor. If you can't see me, swipe. Lift it enough to where it dangles off the floor. You're gonna take your big toe and point it in the alphabet. Try this with me, please. And so take your big toe and make a A, okay? So point it down, make an A. Take your big toe, make a B. Take your big toe and point it to make a C. Make sure you're doing the full directions with your leg, right? We have D, point it. E, point it, get the full range. F, point it. Again, the leg does not have to be up real high. G, do the full motion. Let me put it up higher so you can see me. H, okay, I, you guys get the drill. So you do the whole alphabet, right? Shake it out. You do the whole alphabet, and then he said you also go back and do that same alphabet backwards. And so, A, instead of doing it like this, you, you do it <laughs> like that. A, and then B, go backwards, do the B. The C, go backwards. The D, go backwards, and so forth. You want to feel, while you're doing this, I can feel it in my thighs. I can feel my thighs contracting. I can feel my legs contracting. Shake it out, okay? And then do the same thing on the same leg. He has suggested that I do this two, what he said? He said like like three, four times a day, right? So why are you just sitting? You're sitting in the bed watching TV. A, B, C, D, E. You sitting at work. F, G, H. And it's working all of these muscles here in the leg, which in the end is going to help to keep the knee functioning well as well. Okay, guys, let me scoot up so I can go back and read your comments and see if you have any questions or anything. I hope you guys got some use from that information. Okay, I'm going all the way back to the top. If you got any questions, drop them there, and as I get to it, I'm going to read it. Happy hump day. Hey, Miss Diana. Hey, Miss Darlene. Thank you for coming back. Hey, Trina. Thank you for tuning in, my love. Right, it's, it's not just a lot of times we think it's always the knee that's hurting. And a lot of times it's not just the knee and maybe those muscles around it that's stiff and that's tight. I know sometimes I'll be calling myself killing it in the workout class, right? But you rush and you don't stretch. And what happens is those muscles around the knee become tight. And somehow everything is off balance, guys. Trust me, like I've been feeling it a lot this week. I was talking to my husband and I was telling him, I'm like, man, my calves are like, I always have tight calves, but my calves are like really, really tight. And I thought about it today as I was preparing for you guys. I'm like, I haven't done my yoga like I used to. Like I know it's this one move where I would get on the floor and I would bend on backwards. I think if you tried to pay me to do that today, I couldn't do it. <laughs> and so I'm like, I'm going to go back to doing my yoga at least once a week to stay, got to stay limber. <laughs> All right. Did you guys try that? Let me know if you tried that ABCs right quick. 
Yes, knee pain, Miss Karen, is no fun. No fun at all. Yeah, be be careful days be careful if you feel like that knee is gonna jump out on you because sometimes it do give away us on us be careful guys i just want to show you the exercises and the stretches but if you're looking for something that helps with the 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 knees and so forth i do have a product that i take to help and i will tell y'all too for um for anybody that takes because this right here <laughs> I probably shouldn't say it, but this right here is for like for real so I can help out. I find that on those days when my knees hurt the most or if I'm about to get ready to work out and it's going to be a, um, a very impactful workout, I take a leave before my workout. Um, or, or if the pain just, most of the time it's just before workout because like through the day to day, I'm pretty good with my bio cell. But if I know I'm about to do Zumba and I'm trying to keep up with everybody else, I do. And I find that, you know, um, I find that if I take Tylenol, it doesn't really help. If I take some of the other ones, it doesn't really help. But the Aleve um, really helps me and it helps me enough to where I take it. And while I'm working out between taking that and my bio cell, like I feel for most part, no discomfort, like I'm good. And even like later on when I go home and so forth, it's, it's not like it comes back. And so that's something, if somebody's looking for something that they can go buy ASAP from over the counter, I'm not a doctor, I can't recommend anything, but however, that's what I take. If I need to take something over the counter, that is what I take because I find that that works better than some of the other stuff. And my husband who has back pain, like he vouches for it too. Is it, I want to say it's the Aleve. I want to say it's the Aleve because I get Aleve and Advil mixed up, but I want to say it's the Aleve and I do the, um, the extra strength of course. And, um, there was something else I'm about to tell you. Oh, and I do the off brand. I do. I go right to the Walgreens, CVS, and I get their off brand. Okay. Um, if somebody asks my right knee, what? Okay, I read that. Hey, says I have pain in both my knees since my accident. When I fell, I love you, Sakina. Be careful with it, love. Be careful. These exercises right here um, can really, really help. Like I said, um, if you're looking for a supplement daily, the bio cell really, really helps. And if you're looking for something to alleviate the pain ASAP, I like Aleve. And yes, Kimberly, the, he, he said he was going to school to be a, um, a physical therapist. And so he taught me that. And this been this was back in 03 and it haven't, it haven't left me yet. And so I liked it a lot. All right, Tiffany, let's get it. Whoop, whoop. I love you too, Miss Diana. I know, right, Sally? You know, what you know about that song, Sally? Lean back. Lean back. <laughs> Good afternoon, Miss May. Hi, Ramona. Miss Ramona. What can I do? My knee hurt on the left side of my right knee. Knee hurt on the left side of the right knee. Again, I, I would still, the same things that I said, these stretches, Continue to be active and to move. Listen to your body. The bio cell is dying. I think you're doing the bio cell. Continue with your bio cell. Your trim also has the collagen in it too. So that's going to help out with the knee discomfort as well. And then like I said, for immediate pain relief, what I take is the relief. Okay, so see Miss Sally said you don't do the bouncing. You don't do the bouncing. You, you just stretch it. Good day. Who was that? That was Miss Sharmika. Hey, Rainy. ABCs, Miss Ramona, Rainy. For some reason, when my knee flares up, it seems to work around to back pain as well. You, you know, um, I'm trying to think. When my knee hurts, 
my back sometimes does give me but when i find that that's more so like a, a hormone imbalance right and that's normally around my cycle when i find that i'm going through all like the knee hurts sometimes guys the the um my wrists and so forth get to, to aching up and so forth for me but i i really think that's around the time when i'm on my cycle and so i just try to make sure um I just cope with it, y'all. I just, I just cope with it. <laughs> There's like, I'm trying to think, like, what is there? I, of course, I take myself, but and I just try to be careful with it, and I try to, I try to not get caught up in the mind thing too, right? Because sometimes we like, I can recall like some days I would get up out of bed and I'd be like, oh my back hurt, and my back didn't even hurt yet, and so I know like when my cycle come. To, to try to think positive, try to stay active, try to stay active and stretch. That's what I do. I stretch. A lot of times I, I get a massage. Like, that's a good reason why I ask my husband. I'm like, okay, I need a massage. My lower back is killing me right now. And so massages, stretches, hot showers. That's what I do. Well, I forget that. That's what I do. Yes, yes, yes. Have fun in that gym, Miss Valerie. What machine can you use in the gym? Let me say, I don't, I'm, I'm not a machine person. I'm not a machine person when it comes to the gym at all. Um, there's a bunch of different machines. As far as cardio, um, a machine that I would recommend is kind of like, a, I, I steer clear from the treadmill, okay? For one, I find that when I'm on the treadmill, my leg hurts, my knee hurt more. And then for two, they also let you know that when you're on the treadmill, that that impact of you hitting the treadmill is not necessarily good for your joints, okay? Um, and I think it's boring. <laughs> but I like the ellipticals, the one where you're moving the arms and the legs at the same time. I like the elliptical. And then at my gym, they have another one that's kind of similar to elliptical, but it spreads your legs out. You can decide how narrow and how wide you want your legs and that's really good for me it helps me to get my knees in a good position and um and it doesn't hurt um it doesn't hurt i'll be tired because you're standing up but it doesn't hurt let's see is there any other now when i do go i also i do if i do the i do the weights and stuff but when i say i don't like the machines like if my gym only had machines I probably wouldn't go. I probably wouldn't go. When I go, I go do my Zumba class. I occasionally do the yoga. I do the insanity. I just try to Zumba strong. I do kickboxing. Like I do um, the total scope. Like I use the freestyle weights and so forth. That's what I actually prefer. I prefer the group setting. Like I'm one of those. I like the class packed. Um, I, I feed off everybody else's energy, right? And so I try to go to the front of the class and that's where I work out at. And so with the machines, there's plenty of trainers there that's gonna tell you what to use. So go ahead there, they'll help you out. Um, and and just act like you're gonna sign up. They'll still help you out. And then also a lot of the equipment also have instructions right there on it. Or you be nosy, just watch. Watch and look and see what somebody else used. I know recently somebody kept telling me to do the roll machine, right? They kept saying do the roll machine. I got on the roll machine, but I didn't feel like I was doing nothing. And I really think with the, um, I think my legs was too short to really get a good workout. So I didn't like the roll machine. The Stairmaster, the Stairmaster, OMG, that thing right there, that's a workout. That's a workout. I, I done that. I probably can count on one hand how many times I've been on the Stairmaster. And so, but if you're looking for something, there you go. Okay. I'm glad you liked it, the ABCs, Miss Diana. Bariatric can't take a leave. I see. I wasn't given those instructions, Miss Sally. I wasn't. Now I did hear about the turmeric. I did hear about the turmeric. I also I take ginger tea as well, and ginger helps with inflammation as well too. And so I, I do take the ginger, the um, ginger tea as well. See, every every when it comes to with the whole bariatric surgery, everybody gets different things. Like somebody else told me that their doctor told them that they couldn't have caffeine. Now I know they had told me that I couldn't have carbonated drinks, but they didn't tell me I couldn't have caffeine. But um, yeah, so the Aleve doesn't give me. It doesn't give me any issues. Hey, 
Hey, Reva. Hey, Shamika. Any recommendations for limited mobility due to cartilage deterioration? Um, sound like arthritis if I understand it, right? And so the thing is, you just continue, you gotta just continue to move, you know, um, continue to move at your pace, fast, finding what works for you. They tell me I have joint on joint pain, joint on bone on bone and both of my knees. And so basically that's what that means that the cartilage is gone from there. And so the thing is we just have to move some of these exercises. You can go back if you just join the stretches and, and see if those stretches help you out. That's good. I need to keep an eye out for that. I bet you're right. My foot is up. Yes. Cycles ain't no fun. Like, can we get over with? Like, yes, Miss Sonya, I agree. Like that treadmill, y'all can have that. <laughs> I tell you, I promise all the time. I'm like, you have to find what you like. Cause, like, if you try to take me to go walking, if you try to go get me to do some of those other things, like I don't want to go. You have to find, you have to find what you like, and you have to be. Oh, in lots of water. Yes, yes, Miss Sally. And you have to be okay with telling people, like, you go ahead. I'm going to do what I like because if you don't do what you like, you're going to find yourself quitting. You're going to find yourself quitting. And so I do what I like. I do what feels good for my body. I modify and modify. I don't try to stay in my lane, right? I try to keep up with my body and not with everybody else's body. So if the whole class jumping, and the jump don't feel right to me, I ain't jumping. I can be the only one in the class that ain't jumping, but I'm not going to stop. My pride won't let me stop. I can be about to fall out. <laughs> My pride won't let me stop. I'm not going to stop, but I'm going to modify it to where it's comfortable and it's safe for me. And so I hope that you guys enjoyed these um, stretches that we just did. I hope it's something that's able to help you. That ABC exercise, I hope that it really helps you as well too. Um, if you have any more questions before I get up off of here real quick, I am here for you guys. I did too. Had first knee replaced August 28th. Did some. Did so well. Had the second one. Congratulations to you, Miss Lisa. Like, I'm, what I'm hoping and I'm praying. Thank you, Paul. How's, how's the babies? I'm hoping and I'm praying that, um, that as I continue to get more and more weight up off me, that the knees will get better. I know that the um, damage has been done, but between me taking my products, between me also watching what I eat, because that plays a part in your knees too, because there are certain foods that cause inflammation, right? Um, and so watching the foods that cause inflammation, trying to limit them, my sodium intake, watching the sodium intake, because I do find that when I retain water is when my joints hurt more. And so that's good too, where Miss Sally said drinking plenty of water to kind of flush out everything. Um, and staying moving, staying moving. Those days if I lay in a bed late or if I don't do much that day, I find that I pay for it later. I pay for it later. All right, Miss Rhonda from Wisconsin. I have to rewatch it. Yes, yes, yes. Go back and rewatch it. I hope some of those things help you out and that you're able to use it. And if you guys find value, share it with a friend. Um, everybody, if you can do me the huge favor, if you haven't done so already, is to um, go on my YouTube page, like, comment, and subscribe on there. I am building my YouTube channel. Um, soon, within the next couple of months, I will be going to get my Zumba license in with Facebook and their um privacies with a lot of the music and different stuff like that i probably will eventually convert over to doing a lot of videos from there and so get there early get there early all right y'all so i love y'all i'm gonna get ready to head out to prepare for this meeting that i have over there with my son um hope you enjoyed this video i pray for you all that um that you have a good day and that it's a pain-free day because I know that joint pain is no fun. And so if you're watching this video, nine times out of ten is because either you or a loved one have joint pain. 
and it's no fun to want to be able to do but when you hop up those knees like wait a minute and so um i call healing over your body you know that that you'll be okay and that things will get better and you know how my my upline curtis she was on here not that long ago but she told me too and my pastor talks about it as well as you speak to those limbs as well you know you you know i thank you god that my joints are pain free i thank you god that i'm more limber than ever i thank you god that i have the ability to get up and, and do without pain you know and so you just continue to speak positive you take those joints of yours and you rub them rub them rub them and let them know i love you legs let's get this thing together you know um we we only get one body and unfortunately you know, sometimes some of the stuff that's done to our bodies is things that we self put on it. You know, I know me weighing 515 pounds, my knees didn't ask for that, right? And so, you know, um, trying to go back and recorrect that and let them know, if, listen, I promise if y'all get it together, I won't do it again. <laughs> and so, you know, I love you all so much. I love you all so much. And claim it over your life no joint pain no joint pain it's also it's a physical thing but it's a mental thing too right sometimes we we expect the pain so much that we put the pain near and not to say that you ain't in no pain because i know pain right but also it's it's a mental thing and so check yourself when when you're finding that you're in pain you go ahead and thank them i thank you lord that this pain is 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 leaving i thank you lord that i have the flexibility i thank you that i have full range of motions i thank you that i'm able to do right love you so much have a great day talk to you later Bye bye